Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Freddy with Freddy Can Fly. In today's Heli's Tips and Tricks video, I wanted to go over how to properly assemble the fan clutch assembly to the motor in the motor shaft. Um, I've actually had a lot of people ask me how to do this properly without damaging or breaking anything. Um, so we're going to take a look at that here today. Um, the first thing we want to do is make sure our fan is assembled to our fan hub. Um, we've got our magnets in our fan, that way we don't have to do it later on. Uh, make sure we've got our clutch assembly uh, one-way bearing greased up really nice. Okay. To see more help on that, see my one-way greasing video, one-way bearing greasing video, sorry. Um, and then we're also going to need our motor, okay? And uh, one of the first things we're probably going to want to do, guys, is obviously we want to always make sure that we have that little washer on there, okay? That's our thrust washer. Make sure you have that. Uh, make sure we've got our nut. And take proper note that the nut on this has a really flat squared side and a rounded side. Always keep that rounded side facing up when we do our assembly. Um, and with that being said, I like to always um, put a little bit of tape over my muffler, uh, my exhaust port. That way we don't get any dust or dirt inside while doing any build work. Um, also, let's keep our carburetor lever closed. Okay. Now, go ahead and remove the four screws here on the bottom of your back plate. And let's remove that because we're going to need that in order to lock down everything up here. Okay. Also, go ahead and get yourself some Loctite and some sort of a wrench. We're going to need that for the bolt. Okay. Um, obviously, our tool. We're going to need our multi-tool over here. And another good piece of advice is if you do not have a crankshaft locking tool, get yourself some sort of a tool with a rubberized grip. This will work just as well. Um, I like to use the, the more uh, rubbery uh, grip than whereas these ones are more of like a, a padded cushion on um, their little thicker. So go ahead and get those supplies, guys. Get your back plate removed, and we'll come back, and we will continue from there. Okay, guys, so basically what we want to do here is we've removed our bottom plate. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the nut on top. Remember, flat side needs to face down. So what I always do is I set it down the way I took it off. That way when I put it back on, I know that it's going on the right way. Okay. Um, I went ahead and removed that tape just for video purposes. Um, but what we want to do is using our rubberized grip of our of our tool, we're going to want to insert this um, in, in a manner to where it doesn't allow our, our arm in here to continuously move while we lock everything down to the top here. So basically what I mean by that is if we want to go ahead and start getting this prepared, we're going to take our fan. Um, and depending upon what make and model of your motor and things like that, um, on mine, the Line 600, our fan um, fins are going to be facing down, which means our clutch assembly is up top, okay? And, and we're going to set that down on here, and then we're going to start threading our bolt on through the top, and that's going to compress everything down. Um, a lot of motors, guys, take note this bottom part. Um, it, it's made to fit really tight, but as I compress this down onto the sleeve of the motor here, motor shaft is it's going to expand that and make it like ridiculously tight on there okay so it's going to be a little hard to tighten this all the way down so make sure we've got a good lock here on the bottom um, we're going to lock tight this bad boy up real nice so go ahead and um, prepare yourself for that guys get your rubberized tool ready get your lock tight out and let's go ahead and fasten the fan assembly all right guys so here we go what we're going to do is we're going to apply some Loctite uh, to this motor shaft here, the threads on our motor shaft, and uh, go ahead and apply a pretty good little amount. We you know, want to make sure that we're Loctited up, okay? And, you know, as always, work it in with your fingers, okay? Make sure we've got that very well applied onto there. Um, it's very important that we have this part uh, Loctited, obviously, because it's going to house basically everything. Um, and then, then what we're going to do so we're going to slide our assembly on, make sure it's in the proper orientation. Don't forget our black um, thrust washer on the bottom, okay? And then go ahead and just kind of push that down a little bit. You'll hear it kind of snap into place, okay? And then what we're going to do is I like to try to get a little bit more Loctite onto the tip of our threads there. Just because some of it got squeegeed off. Just get a little more Loctite in there, okay? Go ahead and work it around a little bit. 
and then let's get our nut placed on there. Okay, and once again, guys, flat side down. Don't forget that. Okay, go ahead and start that thread, and uh, you can you can use your uh, your tool at this point if you wish. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my wrench tool, and basically just start putting this on until you feel it bite down. And once it starts turning the motor, then we need to st stick in our crankshaft locking tool, okay? Um, so now it's turning my motor, okay? So what we're going to do is, guys, we just want to wedge something right in between there so that um, it doesn't allow the motor to turn. Be careful not to, to, to damage your motor when you're doing this. This is really not a good example to be shown anyone, but I've never used a crankshaft locking tool, so... You'll see I'm wedged in there, and now it's allowing me to turn. So just keep turning. And this is going to seat all the way down onto that thrust washer, so make sure we get it all the way down and really tighten it down, guys. I mean, don't bend or break nothing, but just get that bad boy nice and tight because it's really important. So here we go. We're at our tight point, so I'm going to lock it down really hard. And, and pay close attention to, to the backside, too. Make sure we're not damaging or breaking anything. Um, if this wants to, to spin in there, um, you know, look inside, make sure we're not damaging anything, okay? Um, mine, mine came out, so I'm going to go ahead and reposition it. So I'm going to get this tightened down nice and tight, guys, and then we'll come right back and we'll review. Okay, so I got mine locked down as tight as I could possibly go, okay? And what we want to check for, guys, if you're using this method, is when you turn, it should turn nice and smooth. Right here is your nice and smooth free point with no compression, okay? I mean, it should be buttery, buttery smooth, okay? And also, when we do compress, make sure it's a nice, even, you know, nice, clean. There's no resistance. There's no metal rubbing on metal, anything. Um, try not to compress this by hand too many times because we want to make sure our motor gets lubricated with fuel before, you know, before it damages it. But just make sure everything feels nice and good. Use your, use your uh, common sense with you um, and just make sure that everything's the way it needs to be, okay? Um, and that's about it. So now we can go ahead and install our back plate, um, reassemble everything as needed, go ahead and put your clutch on top um, and your fan shroud and go ahead and assemble it into the helicopter. Um, and that basically sums it up, guys. Don't forget to tighten these down here. Um, these are going to further compress that fan hub onto that shaft so that it doesn't ever come off. Um, and do take note you do need a removal tool to get that off. That's why it was really important that we did everything proper the first time um, So that's just about it for assembling the fan hub onto the motor um, Go ahead and follow your manual or any other instructional videos I may have on putting the clutch on and, and assembling this into the helicopter frame So that's going to do it for this video as always guys. Thanks for watching remember Freddie can fly so can you